Mr. Speaker, the Tory leadership contest is quickly descending into a toxic race to the right, and it's clear that whoever wins that race, Scotland loses. The former Chancellor has pledged to govern like Margaret Thatcher. The current Chancellor is threatening 20% cuts to the NHS and public services, and they're all trying to outdo each other on an extreme Brexit, costing the economy billions. Is the real reason that the Prime Minister won't endorse any of these awful candidates because whoever becomes the next Tory leader will make Genghis Khan look like a moderate? Prime Minister. Uh, well, I, I, I'm so, I, I'm so I, I feel a real twinge, Mr. Speaker, that this is uh, probably all, virtually the last time I'll have the opportunity to, uh, to answer a question to the, the perhaps because he's going or because I'm going, I don't know. Uh, but, uh, Mr. Speaker, I, all, all I would say to him is that uh, I think that the uh, next uh, leader of, of my party. Uh, will uh, want to make sure that we do everything we can to work with the, uh, the Scottish Government in the way that I've been able to do, I'm proud to have done over the last uh, a few years, to protect and secure our union. And uh, my, my strong view, Mr Speaker, having listened to him very carefully uh, for years and years now, is that we are much, much better together.